what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a mass question on the board which says find all values of x for which x plus 2 all raised to the fourth is equal to 16. well i'm going to be using two methods to solve this question and at the end of the video you tell me which of these two methods you prefer so now let's go to the method one so method one which is the first method our first step will be for us to move 16 to the left hand side so we already have x plus 2 all raised to the fourth on the left as 16 crosses to the left it becomes minus 16 and this is equal to 0 now this expression can be written as x plus 2 all raised to the 4 is same as 2 times 2 and then minus 16 and this is equal to 0 our next step will be for us to apply indices to what we have here which says when i have for example a to the m times n this is the same as a to the m raised to the n so that means this expression can be written as x plus 2 raised to the power of 2 and all these can be raised to another power of 2 which is this other 2 minus now since 16 is a perfect squared it means it can be written as 4 squared this is equal to 0 now notice that we have an expression in difference of two squares and the property of difference of two squares is when i have for example a squared minus b squared this is equal to a minus b times a plus b and comparing this to this you see that a is in the form of this expression which is x plus 2 squared and our b is in the form of 4 now let's express this like this so a minus b which is x plus 2 squared these are a minus b our b is 4 times a plus b so times a is x plus 2 squared plus b b is 4 and this is equal to 0 now our next step will be for us to expand this bracket so expanding we have x squared now 2 times x times 2 that's plus 4x and then 2 squared is plus 4 and then we have minus 4 so minus 4 times now doing the same thing you see that i'm going to be having the same results just like this so this is x squared plus 4x plus 4 which is the expansion of this plus 4 so plus 4 and this is equal to 0 very good now notice that 4 minus 4 is 0 so i'm going to be having here x squared plus 4x times now this is x squared plus 4x and then 4 plus 4 is 8 so plus 8 equal to 0 so we have two cases here for the first case we have x squared plus 4x to be equal to 0 this is the first case so i'll call this case one or for the second case let me call this case two i have 
x squared plus 4x plus 8 to be equal to 0. Now, for our first case, you notice that x is common. So we can factor out x. So factor out x. Now, x squared divided by x, that's x plus 4x divided by x, I have 4. And this is equal to 0. So this expression in two cases are x is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0. So you can see that from this first case, we've been able to get the value of x to be 0. So that's going to be our first value of x. Now the second value of x will be gotten from here by moving 4 to the right hand side. And when I do that, x now becomes, as 4 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 4. So this is our second value of x. So you see that we have two real solutions from our first case. Now let's focus on our second case. Now for our second case, we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this since we cannot factorize this quadratic equation. So using the quadratic formula, we are looking for x. x is equal to, I'm writing down the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now what is our a, what is our b, and what is our c? Well, our a is the coefficient of x squared, and that's 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, and that's 4. And our c is the constant term, which is 8. Now, let's substitute this into our quadratic equation. So, we have x to be equal to negative b. So, negative b, b is 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 4 squared, minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is 8, all over 2 times a, that's 2 times 1. So this simplifies into x equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 8 that's 32 all over 2 times 1 is 2. So we have x to be negative 4 plus or minus the square root of now 16 minus 32 is negative 16 all over 2. So x is now equal to negative 4 plus or minus. Well, the square root of negative 16 is same as 16 times negative 1 all over 2. So our next step will be for us to separate this. So we have x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus. This is same as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1 all over 2. So x now becomes negative 4 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4. Why the square root of negative 1 is iota. So 4 times iota is 4i. All over the denominator, which is 2. Now notice that 4 is common on the numerator. So we have to factor out 4. So factor out 4. And now negative 4 Divide by 4, we have negative 1 plus or minus. Now 4i 
divide by 4, I'm going to be having i all over 2. Very good. And now, 2 here, 1. 2 here is 2. Making x to be equal to 2 times negative 1 plus or minus iota. Now, let's separate these two values of x that we've got here. So, our third value of x is equal to 2 times negative 1. We'll go with a plus, plus iota. And then our fourth value of x is 2 times negative 1. This time, go with the negative minus iota. Very good. So, there are actually four values of x. So, these two values are complex solutions for x. And the other two, which is the first value of x, which we got to be 0, and the second value of x, which we got to be negative 4, are all real solutions. So, two complex solutions and two real solutions. Now, for our second method, so I'll call this method 2. So, for method 2, we're going to be introducing substitution. We'll say let x plus 2 be y. So, we say let x plus 2 be y. That means this expression can be written as y to the fourth or equal to 16. Now, let's move 16 to the left-hand side. So, we have y to the fourth. As 16 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 16. And this is equal to 0. Well, y to the fourth is same as y squared raised to the power of 2. Because from indices, powers multiply. So 2 times 2 gives back 4. Minus. And as 16 is a perfect squared, it means it can be written as 4 squared. And this is equal to 0. So we have difference of two squares. So difference of two squares, which we have a squared minus b squared. This is same as a minus b times a plus b. So let's write this in this form. That means this expression can be written as y squared minus 4 times y squared plus 4. Very good. And this is equal to 0. So we have two cases here. We have y squared minus 4 to be equal to 0. Or the other case, y squared plus 4 to be equal to 0. So now let's start with our first case. So we say case 1. So for case 1, we have y squared minus 4 to be equal to 0. We're going to be moving negative 4 to the right-hand side to become positive 4. So this becomes y squared equal to 4. And now to get the value of y, we have to take the square root of both sides. So take the square root of the left-hand side and also take the square root of the right-hand side, but introducing plus or minus the square root of 4. So notice that square root can cancel out square making the value of y to be plus or minus, the square root of 4 is 2. So this is for our first case. Now for our second case, let's say case 2, we have y squared plus 4 to be equal to 0. Now we have to move plus 4 to the right-hand side. And when we do that, when 4 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 4. Now, let's take the square root of both sides. So, I'll take the square root of y squared, which is on the left, equal to introduce plus or minus the square root of negative 4. Now, the square root cancels of the square, leaving behind y to be equal to plus or minus. Now, the square root of negative 4, since I have negative inside of the radical, that is to say we have a complex solution. So this becomes 2i. Very good. Now, let's recall from our substitution that we said let x plus 2 
be equal to y right very good and since we're looking for x so x is equal to y when i move 2 to the right hand side it becomes minus 2 now let's go with the solutions we've got before so here there are two solutions for y so the first one is plus 2 and then the other one is negative 2 here the same way the third one is plus 2i and then the other one is minus 2i now let's go with when y is equal to 2 which is the first solution for y so x now becomes y is 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so we've got our first value of x to be 0 now when y is this time negative 2 so we have x which is the second value of x to be y is negative 2 so negative 2 negative 2 this is going to give us negative 4 so this is our second solution for x now let's go again to when y is equal to this time 2i so when y is equal to 2i our value of x would then be 2i minus 2 or we can say negative 2 plus 2i it is still the same thing and since 2 is common we can factor out 2 so negative 2 divided by 2 that's negative 1 plus 2i divided by 2 that's i so this is our third solution for x and then lastly when y is equal to negative 2i substitute here you're going to have x to be equal to y that's negative 2i minus 2 see 2 is common so we can factor out 2 now negative 2i divided by 2 we're going to be having negative i and then negative 2 divided by 2 i'm going to be having minus 1. this is same as 2 times negative 1 negative i and this is our fourth solution for x well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care